What's up guys, my name is Josh and today I'm going to be showing you custom post types in WordPress and how to set them up and how to use them. Now, uh, custom post types are basically separate sections on your WordPress site for specific uh, posts that you'd like to separate. Like, if the, I know you can use categories and tags in WordPress to separate your posts that way via a category, but if you wanted like a completely dedicated section specifically for a, um, a specific item, in this case, um, I'm using testimonials. So I want a dedicated section on my web WordPress site specifically from te for, for testimonials from clients. <clears throat> so what I, the end goal is this, so we've got testimonials, all testimonials, so we've got a little section, our own little section, and we've got, I've just put in a few testimonials in here. You can click on them, so you can go to view, and it will show up as a uh, single testimonial. And you can edit it as you would a normal post. Um, but obviously I've removed some features because I don't actually need them, but I'll get into that in a minute. So what we need to first do is that we need to go to our functions file. To do that, um, you can either use a, a FTP slash code editor to get into your WordPress theme files because that's where we need to go. We need to go into the functions file of our theme. You can do that by going to appearance and then editor, sorry, appearance and then editor, and then go into your theme functions file. Um, but I, 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 I don't really like the code at the editor that it is because obviously there is no revisions with this. So once you click save, that's it. And also if your the WordPress, uh, the site goes down because you've made a, a put a semicolon somewhere where you shouldn't have been, then you, you're gonna struggle trying to get back into this and this editor here and actually getting and editing the file back to uh, back to working again. So, but before you obviously start any of this, if you do want to go into it, then do take a backup of this first. So just select it all. Oh, sorry. Just select it all and just copy it and just put it in a text document somewhere on your computer where you know it is. So you've got a hard backup just in case anything does go wrong. Okay. But if you're doing this via code editor, which I am, uh, then what you need to do is that you need to open up your code editor, code editor connect to your hosting, which I've done here, and then go to your functions file of your theme, which is the same file we have here. There's no difference between the two. Uh, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and then begin making your function for your custom post type. Now, I've already added it in, because um, it would have taken me a little minute to get to do that for you, but um, here we have it. So let's start. So we've got function my custom post type, the labels. So all the labeling for this custom post type, as in the menu name, the single name, the plural name, etc., etc. You know, to give it that you know, real like personal effect to know that, you know, to properly separate it. So I've changed uh, all the names of testimonials and testimonial. So we've got plural versions, etc. Then some of S is on, etc., etc. To make it make sense. Okay. So you can change that as you wish. You can put it recipes, books, movies, films, etc. Anything really. Um, and then along with the custom post site function, we've got arguments as well to say what well what is our what are the arguments for our custom post site? Well, the labels are what I've said here. The description is this little bit of descriptive text. <clears throat> is it public? Yes. So we can set that to true. Is it publicly queryable? So can people search for it on your site? And it will the search results results bring back a post yes yeah I want that to be true show UI so show in the actual uh, user interface we want to be able to see it so that's set to true as well show in menu yes so I, that would mean if I went to appearance and then menus our testimonials our post would appear in our menu so we can add that as uh, menu items which is quite cool um, Query variable, so is it queryable by the system? Yes. Rewrite, so rewrite the slug. So I'm gonna rewrite the slug to say testimonials. Capability type is the post. Does it have an archive page? Yes. Hierarchy, false. I don't really use it that much. Um, it's if you wanted to kind of stack posts onto each other, so you've got category A within category B, within category C, etc., etc. Uh, menu position. The higher the number, the lower in the position your post type will be. So the high, if I was 100, it would be below settings. But if it was zero, it should be hopefully above dashboard, but depending on how far you can actually go. Supports, 
Um, what do what does your post type? What do you want to support in your post type? Meaning, if you went to testimonial and click add new, as you can see, I've got the title, the editor, the expert, and the author, which is title, editor, expert, and author. Um, but obviously, I haven't got featured image. But you can add featured image if you want. Uh, within your supports, just put comma and just type in thumbnail um, and click save. And just refresh you've now got the featured image thumbnail which is great uh, same thing with comments so we can just say uh, comments I can spell comments right so comments refresh so we've got discussion which allow comments and trackbacks and pingbacks but I don't want comments because it's a testimonial section and I don't really need to have a thumbnail or a comment section so to save that and refresh, then it'll it'll go away. But obviously, once you've filled all that in and registered the post type and click save, you will get a brand new uh, section called whatever you've called your post type. You'll have an old old testimonials and add new. Uh, it may be slightly different, obviously, if you've added more stuff. If you do double check, if some stuff isn't showing, make sure you are actually you're saying true to most of these because it it does matter, obviously. So once you've done that. You'll have a new section. You'll have an old te old testimonials in my case section, and then what you need to do is just add a few testimonials. Add a few. Just I've just click add new, and just just put something in. Um, Jane Doe. Actually, no, no. We're gonna say John Deer. Uh, this is a great tutorial. <laughs> Thanks. Can't be spelled. Publish. Publish that. And we can view that now. We go view post. Then we've got a single testimonial and there we have it. Okay, so that is um, a single post. So to actually make this work, if um, there is um, there is some additional files that you do actually need to make in WordPress in your theme directory for it to work properly. Now as you can see here, I've got single and then single testimonial. Now, because I've got single dash testimonial, um, it's you, it's telling WordPress right for the testimonial post type, any single testimonial post type, use single dot dash testimonial dot php page. It's like if I wanted a um, a different design for my testimonials compared to just normal posts. So in this case, I would make single dash testimonials testimonial, um, and then just obviously make my amends accordingly. So I can just make my amends here and I've just in this case put single testimonial purely just so I know that I'm on the right page and I'm on the correct template page for WordPress. So that that's in my instance. But obviously you may want to design this a lot more differently than what I have. I've just uh, used the just copied and duplicated my single page and just put dash testimonial after it. Okay. <clears throat> the same with the archive page. Now you can add the it'll, it'll um if you just add the normal archive page it will work regardless you can just have the archive and it would work uh, testimonials would show an archive page so in this case if I just strike out this say testimonials I've now got my testimonial archive it would work regardless if I had this the custom post type archive for it if I if I didn't have this it would just use this but because I have this I'm going it, it's using this one instead and I can design this how I wish um, how I wish it to be and how uh, whatever you want obviously this will only see, only work for the testimonial page it won't work for anything else uh, testimonial post type sorry it won't work for anything else <clears throat> so once you've done that and um, you've created a archive that dash testimonial a single dash testimonial so you can separate the two if you want a different design and um, and then just refresh everything it should show if for some reason it doesn't show uh, you are greeted with a white page or a blank page then go to menus or not go to menus go to your dashboard then go to settings and then permalinks yes I want to leave right now that's fine and then just tap on your save changes again I've noticed that I've, I've tended to, to do this a couple of times just to make sure it's showing correctly Um, once you save that just go to your archive or blank page and just re refresh. Um, you may need to do a empty cache and hard refresh if it doesn't show the first time. 
or disable your caching or disable anything else just to make sure uh, it's working and then once it is working you can enable all your caching software again <clears throat> So guys, thank you very much for watching. If you liked this video, let me know in the comments. If you didn't like this video, also let me know in the comments so, that, so I can improve and make a better video. I'll put um, a link to the uh, to the actual code I used in the description below so you've got, uh, got a helping hand. Any questions, just let me know in the comments and I will gladly help you along. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Bye-bye.